Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here, bringing you my fragrance, or as some like to say, scent of the day, to you live and direct from my second job. Actually, I tried to do this video earlier today, and it was around 2 o'clock, which is usually when most of us at the hospital start winding down, bringing down our equipment, and, um, you know, getting ready to go. And I knew it was going to happen. Uh, people were going to start coming in and out of the, the equipment room. Um, one of the supervisor popped in on me and I had to stop the video, which I was done. I just didn't give you guys my trademark uh, piece. But nonetheless, I am technically right now in the building by myself um, in somebody's office. I don't know who the hell it is, but um, we're going to make do with what we have. So... To all the new subscribers, thank you guys very much. Um, I know it may get a little tiresome, me jumping in and out of uh, Facebook conversations and, you know, trying to network myself a little bit to get my status up, but um, it seems to be working, and a lot of you guys have been going on and letting people know that, you know, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty good guy, I'm a stand-up guy, I, you know, try to keep my word when it comes to um doing what i say i'm gonna do as far as you know when we do swaps trades or if i'm buying or selling something to somebody um if somebody recommends something to me i usually can go out and find it and if i can remember because i don't write everything down and if i can remember to go back through my messages and stuff and you know if i see something then i'll pick it up but for the most part I try to do what I can do to help you guys out to keep you from making those not really costly mistakes um, because most of the fragrances I deal with are cheapy or inexpensive anyway. Um, and let me clarify something also. When I say cheapy, I don't always mean like go to City Trend or Ross and buy a 5 or 10 $15 fragrance. Cheapy can also mean a fragrance that may cost you 60, 70, 80 bucks and it's marked down or discounted for like 40, 50, 30, something like that. So the price range it fluctuates depending on the fragrance. Now, if I can find a Gucci, if I can find, you know, a Prada or something like that that's a decent price, then of course I'm going to jump on it. But I try not to go beyond my means, which is, you know, my cutoff is probably like $50, $60, depending on what it is. Um, but the low end, there is no, really no cap. Uh, as you saw the other day, I bought a fragrance from the Dollar Tree and it was $1. Well, a dollar and some change. And it was Eau de Parfum Concentration and I think it was like Caribbean Joe or something like that. Um, but that's for another video. So, with that being said, like I said before, thank you all um, for subscribing or being loyal subscribers. I know there are tons of other people that you guys can be watching uh, and getting information from. Like I always tell you, I'm not the person who is the most knowledgeable when it comes to fragrances. I don't know every note in every fragrance. I don't know everything about every fragrance a lot of this stuff i'm picking up for the first time um i just give you what information i can give you and you guys can you know do some of the leg work too you can google some of this stuff you can you know go online whatever and find these fragrances find the note breakdowns and all that so with that being said the fragrance that i actually received for father's day which was yesterday and if i didn't say happy father's day to anyone before which I think I did in the video. I'll say it again. Happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, whether you're a good or bad father. That's not for me to say. Just happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I know we get the shitty end of the stick most of the times. And I said this in a video the day before um, Father's Day. We I went to the stores. Like weeks in advance before father's day just to see um what kind of gift sets they were going to put out what kind of uh single bottle fragrances they were going to put out and i went to marshall's i went to 
Bells, I went to TJ Maxx, Ross, and they all stock up the same stuff. You find a lot of Beverly Hills polo, you find a lot of, you know, that lower end stuff that you really don't care anything about. And um, every blue moon, I may find something like I did find Coach for Men, which was a big bottle, but it was like $60, $70. I already have a 50 ml, I believe it is, of that fragrance, so I didn't need that. Bulgari um, Atlantique, I saw it was like a gift set with two, a big bottle and a little bottle in it, but it was like 60 bucks, and I couldn't force myself to buy it. I actually got to smell it in Belks, and I like Aquamarine better, a whole hell of a lot better. Um, Bulgari. Atlantique did not smell aquatic enough for me for some reason. Like, it didn't grab me and be like, you know what I'm saying? It didn't, like, I could smell, I could spray aquamarine and I get that, uh, what is it? Um, I can't think of the name of it now, but you get that saltiness that marine vibe that that from it and it smells damn good i like it a lot um do i want to get atlantique yes i do i also want to try aqua amara also and if i don't like them at least i will have them but i'm not gonna pay those prices that i've seen them for <clears throat> but i've went been to the rack stores and the way those shelves look and my guy fragrance obsessions he did a video and he showed um one of the stores that he went to shout out to my man um <clears throat> it looked bombed out and depleted guys and it, it wasn't because people were out buying a lot of fragrances these stores were like this way before father's day even got here um there were hardly anything on the shelves. It was like they didn't even care to even try to get any shipments in of any fragrances. Um, our TJ Maxx had a half-ass um, display set up for the men. And they had like some bullshit tool kits. And um, they had some fragrance gift sets that they had set up that most of the stuff we already have anyway. Like... Uh, um, English laundry and you know stuff like that so they did have one Gucci fragrance I need to go back and check on that um, I may purchase that one but it was kind of expensive too I think it was like 50 bucks but um it was just sad man and it like Mother's Day they go all out they put up balloons and they put banners up and Mother's Day this and the women's section was full of stuff and it was like running over and all over the floor and the men's section you go in and it was like somebody rummaged through all the stuff and just left it and it was like maybe a few I say like 40 50 fragrances there and all over all almost all of them excuse me were the same fragrance over and over and over so um, it really did suck man and it, it was really depressing that people don't think of fathers like they think of mothers. I know the mothers carry the kids for nine months or, you know, whatever their term may be, short or long. Um, women go through the most when it comes to, you know, dealing with pregnancy and stuff like that. We don't really get sick. We don't have to carry that extra weight. We don't have to push out babies and deal with, you know, all kinds of issues. I understand that, guys. I'm not complaining about that part. It's just uh, ladies, I mean, but... It's just the fact that some of us are actually great dads. We take time out with our kids. Um, we do what we can for them. And, you know, if when you guys, uh, ladies, can't deal with them, we have to step in and deal with them. I'm divorced. So, you know, I have to deal with my son whenever my ex-wife calls um, because I don't rely on another man to teach my ch my son anything or my daughter and she is remarried and we had that understanding from day one don't put your hands on my child um you can chastise them you can you know discipline them but don't put your hands on my kids um but with that being said guys you know it's just for me it was just depressing man to walk into all these stores and people not have anything set up for us guys 
but we have to do all the cooking for Mother's Day. We have to do all the cooking as far as like grilling, I should say. We have to do all this extra stuff and nobody goes the extra mile for us. Yes, my daughter came and took me out for a Father's Day dinner and I appreciate it a lot. I did get two fragrances and this is one of them I'm about to show you. I'll get to it in a second, guys. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but it just bothered me to see the stores like this when, you know, Father's Day is just as much a significant holiday or day as mother's day so anyway i'm not gonna keep going on and on about that the fragrance i wore today is from uh calvin klein and i think from what i understand they put one of these out every year and the bottles i've seen so far have all been different bottle the bottles themselves are the same it's just the coloration of the bottle or the decoration of the bottle, excuse me, and the box is different. And I've seen several different ones. Now, I've seen one in Marshalls in Jacksonville, Florida, in one of my videos. And it was like a big, two. I think it was like a 200 ml bottle for like $40, $50, something like that. I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was a CK Summer, I believe it was, um, or a limited edition or something like that. But my ex-wife um, and my daughter were going to Ross, where they live in Savannah. And I was just jokingly telling my ex-wife, hey, tell my daughter to pick me up a fragrance. And so she was like, okay, I'm going to video chat you and let you see what they have. So she video chatted with me, and um, or video called me rather. And she was panning through the shelves, showing me stuff. And as she was panning, you know... I got over 250 some odd fragrances. So I was like, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that. And it was like everything they had I already got or I had before. So she panned over to this one and I said, hold up, go back. And she went back and it was this particular one and it is CK1 Summer. This is the fragrance, a 100 ml bottle. And it was like $24.99, I think it was. So like $25, $26 with tax. And my daughter actually bought this one. And I think my ex-wife was the one who bought the, uh, what was the other one? Um, damn, I can't think of what the other one was now. Um, I can't think of the, the other one, but that's a video I'm going to do uh, soon, but it'll come to me in a minute. But anyway, I was um, thinking about trying to find one of these, and I never really ran into one until that particular day in Jacksonville, and I didn't buy it. So luckily, it came back around, and I've heard other reviewers say not to buy the current year's edition, always buy the one from before and what i understand is all of the original summer fragrances are better than the newer ones because they don't perform well well before you guys run out and think that you're finna go buy this and it's gonna be the greatest fragrance ever don't do it to yourself this smells great don't get me twisted great fragrance is citrusy has that cucumber note in it. It dries down to some woods, oak moss, and some other notes that I'm, I'm not going to go through all the notes. But it smells great. I get about an hour, maybe just over an hour of pretty good projection. And then after that, it's a close skin scent. And it lasted probably about three, three and a half hours. Then I had to reapply. And this is just what I'm speaking of on my skin, guys. Now, this may perform better on somebody else. Uh, body chemistry or whatever you want to call it may be, you know, the factor in this. But it actually lasted. I can still actually smell it on my skin now. And I reapplied this like way... What? When did I come to work? I left at a little after five. So I sprayed it on about five something. It's what going on? A 30... It's going on 834, 835 now. So that's what? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. That's about 
going on three hours now, a little over three hours maybe. Um, so it's a very close skin scent. Like I have to really get close to be able to smell it. So you don't have to run out and purchase this or look for it. It's not in abundance, not around this area anyway, and I'm in Georgia. Um, I actually have seen this twice. Once in the video from my ex-wife, well, not video, but the, uh, well, it is video chat. And I seen one of these in our local TJ Maxx, and it was about the same price also. Um, but if you're on a budget like me, that likes budget friendly fragrances this is perfect um if you don't mind reapplying like i don't um this would work great looking bottle it's the, the standard ck1 bottle it's just see-through with you know that summery type color uh very bright very uplifting fresh um fruity uh woozy dry down um Pros and cons on this. I like the sprayer or atomizer and I don't like it. It gives like a fine mist, which is to me not good. If it was a little bit, uh, <clears throat> if the mist wasn't so fine, I'd be cool with it. Um, but you have to get close to your skin and I'm going to show you. I don't want to get it on his desk because... But this is the mist, the, the atomizer. You see that? It's not very good. And in the air, it smells great. But you do have to get closer to your skin to actually get it on you. Um, this is a very, very, very nice smelling fragrance, guys. It's got that aquatic fruitiness to it. Very nice. It just doesn't last that long. And um, like I say, for somebody like me who don't mind these kind of cheapies, um, go for it. 24, 25 bucks, bucks, not that bad. Uh, would I buy this again if I saw it and ran out of this? Nah, I wouldn't. Uh, I'll probably just hold on to this for as long as possible. Um, unless somebody wants it, then you can shoot me 20 bucks and it's yours. Or we can do a trade if somebody wants to try this. I've only used a few sprays out of it. So I, you know, I got it for Father's Day. It should have sentimental value to me, but it's just scented water. Um, but it did come from my daughter. So with that being said, anyway, I can always buy another totally different fragrance so 20 bucks if somebody wants it interested in this i'll get rid of it no problem unless i change my mind um but with that being said i also do a swap if somebody wants to swap out a fragrance i'm actually looking for ck1 and if anybody has ck1 and you want to do a swap i'll do that also just let me know and if i don't change my mind on it Trust me, I'll let you know if I do or I don't. But um, on the back, this also has some kind of little peel off. And it has stickers of like a summer day. Uh, one of them is somebody holding a sparkler. Another one looks like a beach edge. Um, palm trees. You know, stuff like that. So, not a bad fragrance. Just don't think that you're going to get a projection monster and this is not the longest lasting fragrance that you can purchase um this does not as far as i've seen i i haven't seen a date on this and i'm assuming this is the 2019 edition but i can't tell you um i probably could type in these numbers and it'll tell me more about the fragrance uh on the bottom of the box it has the number seven three four five so if anybody has the time to type those numbers in for ck1 summer and tell me what the date is on this um please do so there is also a reference number on the back if that'll help 
Reference number is 229052. Um, I don't have the time right now, but you know, if anybody can give me any more information on this, I'm not looking for note breakdowns because I already looked that up. I know what's in it. Uh, just tell me what the date is on this. If it's 2018, 2019, you know, whatever. So, with that being said, guys, once again, CK1 Summer, $24.99, I believe it was. Um, <clears throat> pretty good. It's not bad. Um, it actually does come with that uh, screw on top. Uh, it doesn't come with the atomizer already on it. In which I don't understand why they do this. Because CKB, CK1, any other flanker like this that comes in this type bottle. It comes with that screw on solid top. And then, excuse me, you have to take that off. And this atomizer is in the box. So you have to take that off, put this in and screw it on. Instead of just making something that already comes with this. And then putting a top on that. Which to me would be more... But whatever, it's Calvin Klein. They do what they want to do. They make money. They got money off of my daughter. So it is what it is. Uh, with that being said, guys, I am out of here. I still got two more buildings to clean and about another hour and some minutes to go before I'm out of here. Hope you guys are having a great evening. I am out. Peace.